Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our wonderful Space Age playthrough where we're going to space. We're finally doing it. We have rockets ready to go. All we need is space platform starter pack, and we can see what the heck is going on. Um, I'm very excited. I'm very excited for this. So, the space platform starter pack, we should have enough for it now. There we go. Takes a minute to craft, but we we got a minute. I'm going to grab some more blue chips for myself. And yeah, we're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. Oh crap, I already forgot. What did we do in the last episode 13? Uh, we made rocket silo. I know you future YouTubians uh, are, are telling me telepathically from the future right now. So I'm, I'm listening from the past to you guys telling me what we just did in the last episode. Um, we did the rocket silo and some other stuff. I mean, we did more copper and iron, I guess. So that's a thing. Another thing we just did before this episode is I got some more steel going right here using beacons and some speed modules in some electric furnaces and we finished the steel productivity research so now all my steel production just gets a free 10 percent i think we embraced adhd yeah that's all my that's all my episodes um okay so we have the starter pack that uses one ton out of one ton that uses a ton of space or wait, how's power? Power is okay. Um, though that might be worse at night. I'm not sure. Yeah. I probably should set up nuclear. Mm, I don't know, maybe. We seem to have enough coal though. So maybe not. Coal power seems pretty happy for now. We can always do coal liquefaction, that's power positive, right? All right, let's do it. I'm doing it. Oh, what are we gonna name it? Ah, uh, what do I name it? Oh, I mean, the first one's gotta be Crydania, right? We can name other ones Patri after Patreon supporters. Okay, so platform, the starter pack for this platform is on the way. Heck yeah, it is. There it goes. There's an icon on the rocket. All right. Ooh, raining bullets and some other achievement. Space platform created in orbit above the planet. <gasps> Ooh, spooky. Little asteroids floating around. Is that gonna damage, damage me already? <gasps> No, be nice to my platform. Don't, don't be rude. So it comes with 10. There's so many things to look at. I don't even know what's happening. Okay, that's not damaging this thing. I don't know if these take damage, but... Weight is 60 tons. Speed is zero kilometers a second. Oh, that building animation is so cool. And we're, we're done. Well, we went to space. See you guys next time. No, 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 I'm kidding. Uh, we do need to launch a lot more of the platform up there. And a rocket can only carry 50. Okay, I get it. Ah, uh, I didn't tell you to launch. Why is it launching? Whoa, they just don't even care, I guess. You fill it up, it launches. Okay, interesting. Good to know. What if, what if you had two space platforms? Which one would it go to? The space platform is requesting materials, is it? I don't know how any of this works. Oh, okay, I see. 
Interesting. Okay, so then... How do I... Do I need a new build bar for this? Probably. Oh yeah, we need to build all the new things. I just want to watch this animation though. It's so cool. All right, so we'll get that finished up. And then now I need to automate the new buildings. But yeah, let's send 50 more up there. I'll go off to space. Send copper to space and make platforms on site. What's the point though? That's a that's it would probably take more weight to send the copper up. Maybe. I don't know. Confusing. Rocket capacity 50. So these weigh 20 pounds each. But they use 20 steel. Yeah, I don't think that's work. Gonna work. I need a new toolbar for space builds. Some sort of space bar. <laughs> I do need a space bar. Um, but hey, we're done. We built it. And asteroids are just kicking around. And now we weigh 78 tons. So this does take up space. In space. We're gonna say space a lot in this stream. Alright, so we need crushers. Uh, cargo bay, what's that? Increases the hub and landing pad inventory size. Isn't that for on planets, or, I don't know. Um, so asteroid collectors. Certainly need those. So let me go, gr uh, maybe we can automate that somewhere. Is there a place where we have electric engines and red chips? Our blue chips and low density structure? Kind of, we just don't have the engines over here. The flying robot frames. Uh, electric engines. Could we put them on the same belt? That the flying robot frames are on. Ooh, I sure could. Look at this. We're gonna spaghetti so hard. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Now we gotta fix what's going on down here first. So that's gonna go left. Frames. And then this way we've got the robot engines there. Let me do this. New tips. Ooh. What do we got? What do we got? Orbital logistics. Ha 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 ha. Yes. All right. So the space platform hub can request items from the logistic network to be delivered by rockets. It's possible to auto request missing construction materials. The rocket silo can be set to perform a request for space platforms. The cargo landing pad can request items from a space platform orbiting its planet unless it's already requesting the item on this planet. Shift left click transfers a single stack manually to the planet. Items will appear in a chest capsule on starting coordinates. Interesting. All right, asteroid collectors are done. We're gonna build a few of those. We're gonna need some solar panels. Grab our rare and uncommon ones. Send those up to Spas and some accumulators. Send those to Spas. Oh, guys, I am so pumped. Is sunlight constant in space? I think so. Not 100%. A thousand might be a little much. I think 500 is probably enough for now. I'm sure I'll increase that at some point, but I, I, I want that iron to, or that steel to eventually stop being used. 
All right, what do we got? Seven, that's probably enough. Eight asteroid collectors. Oh, I need to send belts up there too. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, that's a full rocket. Go for it. Are we doing quality on prod modules anywhere? I could see that being a useful thing right now. Yeah, let's cut off those three. Let's do a beacon. Boost the speed and the efficiency. Okay. That should basically make up for it. And then we have a chance at some quality modules. I'll put left. How do I do this again? Uh, any of those that have quality greater than normal. Can't I just do anything quality greater than normal? Do I do that again? Hmm. Speed gives a negative quality modifier, 2.5%. Oh yeah. Yeah, it does. Lame. Okay, well, I probably need four of these then. Interesting. That actually is really interesting. Um, but back to this. Can you not just filter all... Can you do that? You can. You just have to not select an item. Once you've selected an item, I don't know if you can undo it. Do it like this. Okay. <laughs> Remember in space, no one can hear me scream. It is true. There's some more asteroid collectors. Uh, we already got solar. Okay, okay, okay. So I sent that last thing to space. Now we'll send some belts. Oh, that's half of my. Oh, gosh. Kind of fun to be limited on resources again. Or to feel limited, I should say. Alright, throw some inserters up there. That's that rocket. And then the next rocket will carry... Oh, asteroid collectors apparently like to be quality. Their arm count goes up. They get two collection arms? Oh, that's heavily incentivized to be higher quality. Oh my goodness. This is all so exciting. Alright, now we want to send some asteroid collectors. And some accumulators. Go for that. All right, so now what? Now, well, I guess we have to wait for the new stuff. I don't like that you can't click on it here like it's from your inventory. How are you supposed to? Hmm. How, is is there something I'm missing, or do I literally have to like go find the item and actually put it on the hotbar? I can't I can't interact with this in any way. There's no I can't pipe at it. I'm gonna F10 that. That's really annoying. Oh, 
All right. Do I have the setting turned on for pipe and ghost items? Uh, let me check before I submit feedback. What are we talking about? Not mod settings. Interface? Is it an interface thing? Pick ghost item if no items are available. Yeah. So I think we're... Yeah. So like on the space platform, I can't I can't click on these in any way. Left click does nothing, right click does nothing. Shift click drops it onto the planet. Well, there it goes. Just yeeted that away. Cool. Um <laughs> I didn't really mean to do that, but that's what happens. And then um yeah, there's no way to pipe edit. I'm middle clicking right now. Which is my I rebound pipette. Okay, so back to reporting this nonsense. You can't grab items from the space platform hub to then build them on the platform. This means Nor can I pipette the item from the slots. Oh. Uh, okay, well, I'll report it as a bug then. It seems since I rebound pipette key to middle mouse, it won't work properly on items in the space platform hub. It should pipette as a priority. It should pipette, I'll just leave that. All right, Um. so wait, you guys are saying there's another control for middle click, which is toggle filter, and you're saying that's gonna mess with do you think that's messing with it? Um, yep, that was it. That's annoying. I've never had those things conflict before. I've never had this issue. <sighs> so what do I change the filter to? Um, let me shift middle click. I'm not going to hit that on accident. I don't tend to use that very often anyway, that functionality, so it's fine. Maybe I've tried to never tried to pipe out a filterable inventory. That's also possible. I very rarely. Um, oh, yeah, we. <laughs> Hey, let's go. Let's go grab our uh, our our fresh items from space. Unclaimed items waiting in drop pods. What are we? Are we doing loot boxes now? What is this, Wooba? Hey, two ninety nine for a deluxe loot box dropped straight to Navis. Loot box. Oh look, it's. Eight underground belts. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm mailing this misclick with same day shipping. Yeah, that's exactly what it does. Um, okay, so we need to send those back up along with lots of other things probably. Those items have been in space two more times than you. Two more times? Well, they're about to be in space for a second time, if that's what you mean. Now they'll have been in space twice. All right, they've been on an ultimate journey. Now, efficiency modules seem like a good idea. So let's send a few of those. And I need crushers, right? I forgot about those. Uh, those need steel.
We need something like this. And then the steel needs to come up. Get an eyelash in my eye. And then this. Spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. Now, I don't know why I wasn't thinking to do this before, but we should probably try get some uncommon ones. Um, no, don't use filters. Use the... No. This. Circuit. Circuit network, enable everything less than 50. Did the music change to space music? Yeah, we haven't really seen the space music yet. I haven't been up there long enough. All right, let's grab some crushers. Send those to space. I guess I need to pin. How do I do this? How do I pin the space platform? How do you pin the current map view? Ooh, it landed. Cool. Click the hub and there's a pin button. Cool. All right, electric network. Well, we don't need to worry about that. We don't have electricity. Whoa, plus 200%. Nice. All right. So that's a lot of power and there goes all of our space. I really wish you could left click on these. It feels really weird that you can't. Um, I will say that. And then we need to just keep sending more of this crap. pin now, so I can just hit that. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um. Yeah. Fifty is not very much. Wow. Yeah. No wonder they they made rockets five percent of the cost. Uh, it's because they can't carry crap. <laughs> They can't carry beans. All right, launch another one, please. A little faster, maybe. I guess that tag should be space platform. I might want to add a second rocket. No, I think this is fast enough. I don't think my resources could handle more. Love all the greebles on the surface of the space platform. Yeah, there's all sorts of little, little bits and bobs. Okay, so I'm waiting for. The, didn't we just launch one? Am I crazy? Oh, there. It goes. Okay, and then. few accumulators going. Uh, no, I tried putting quality in there. It doesn't do anything. Okay, so asteroid collectors have to hang... They have to hang 10 off the edge. I do like that they can wrap around a little bit. What are the accumulators for? Uh, you know, when we have surges of power. No, I completely forgot that we wouldn't need accumulators. Um, 
Because there's no night time. Wow, there's even an animation for those. So cool. Oh my gosh. So wait, what what am I even collecting? Um I don't know what's I don't know what's happening. What do we have here? We have random stuff. Is there a is there a way to, for me to know what all these asteroids are? I mean, I know that they're somewhere in the Factoriopedia, but like, what about these individual items? Do I need it? But I can't make a chest. So, um, how do I actually analyze? How can I like click on the items themselves? I guess I just have to click on these. Yeah, I guess I could build the crusher. Maybe that'll tell me some things. I keep left clicking. I don't know why. Oh, it's a two by three building. All sorts of fresh new stuff. Okay, so metallic asteroid crushing. Wow, 20 ore and a chance to get it back. So that means basically 0.8 chunks gets you 20 iron ore. A carbonic gets you 10 carbon, which is burnable fuel. And then an oxide gets you ice. So we're gonna need sorters. It's midnight, oh no. Well, sleep well. Um, okay, so we've got I'm enjoying the new music. Where are the chunks? Are you guys seeing them? Am I missing them? Ah, here. Metallic. Carbonic. Okay, so we can sort out. What happens to the items when you mine them? Do they go back in here? Or do they just disappear into the void? Like, what just happened to that item? That seems bad. That seems weird to me. I mean, I, I know you wouldn't want items on the floor because you wouldn't have a way to pick them up, but it also seems weird to just delete items on belts. Maybe... But like, what if something valuable was on a belt? I don't know. <sighs> so many questions in my mind. All right, let's deconstruct a few of these for now so we have more space. Um, how much power does a crusher use? 558. Uh, grabbies don't require a ton. So basically... A crusher will need some sort of loop. To filter off. Its own. Chunks. And then everything else will be iron. So that's iron. That's carbon, that's ice. I need way more space. Um, give me more space. Yeah, we're gonna have to work on like dense setups for this, for sure. I just tried to alt tab back to Novus. That doesn't work, by the way. <laughs> oh, that really doesn't work. It really doesn't work. Okay, so... Maybe I'll expand on this a little bit so we can fit um, solar panels kind of around that side of it.
Okay, so how do we build space science? Crafted on, crafted, so it's still made in an assembling machine. So I need to send a few more things up there. Assembling machines. And then efficiency modules. I know I already sent some of those, but I'll probably need a few more. Um, more splitters. Uh, Cheesinator, I think at this point, I'd prefer less to no backseating because we're just messing with new mechanics. So I'm not really interested in hearing like, oh, here's how this other streamer did it, or here's how I did it to make it great. Because um, this is the first time we're even playing with it. So. So at least for now, I'd say little to no backseating. But if you're just like learning with me, that's fine. Cargo babe. I'm just making sure we're not missing any buildings. I think we have all the buildings figured out. Um, does space science have to be made in space? Now there's a question. Gravity, crafting surface conditions, gravity zero. Yes, that means yes. <laughs> so it's only, it's only crafted in a space station. On, on a space station. Because uh, it has to have zero gravity. So. We now should be able to. I'm going to move those. Um, we do need iron plates, though, not iron ore, which means we have to do smelting. On the planet, on the on the space station. The other two things I just need to fetch. Okay. Ooh, this is fun. This is fun. Okay, let's get those now. Maybe they fit nicely. Okay, that gives me a little bit more room to play with. Um... Yeah, so this is basically a powered floor, so we don't need power poles, which is nice. Okay. And I just assume we're not getting the the other type of asteroid chunks because they're not even in the tech tree yet. Is there a max size? I don't know. It's me. It increases the weight. So that's going to have an effect if you try to fly it. But if you're not flying it, maybe not. Maybe not. Um, okay, let me send up some smelters. Oh, I don't have a rocket ready yet. Beep. Oh, I was shift clicking. There we go. Why are these so light? That's weird. You can send a lot of uh, furnaces. Um, continue to send more efficiencies. Probably more belts needed. Go. Yeah, pin ultimate. That is a fun. That is a fun question. Is direct platform to platform transfer possible? I don't think so. As, uh, from what I understand, you cannot transfer platform to platform. Just platform to planet. So... I'm gonna redo this stuff a little bit. Let's get all the, all the things here. So I've already got belts. Stack inserters I should have somewhere anyway. Um... I already got those two. Okay. It also feels weird that like it shows me as not having these when I do have these, but they're just on the platform. So that feels a little like 
I don't know, confusing. Like, it would be really nice if it showed me what amounts I had of these buildings in here when I was looking at this surface. Um, so that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get a second one placed with just maximize coverage for now. And then let's work our way backwards. So science, I will direct insert back into the hub. I need some long inserters too. We need three items. New tip, removing trash in space. Oh right, you can just chuck stuff off the side. Um, see you later, Riff. Can you create a U-shape and underground across space? I believe you can? Oh, no time like the present. How do I... Yep. Literally unplayable. Literally flipping unplayable. Wait, do you not get it all back? What happened to my foundation? That is, wait, no, I have some here. What's going on? Oh, 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 never mind. I just left a little gap that it didn't like. You can't have a hole. You can't have holes because it would be too easy to dump stuff into the hole. I bet that's why they didn't let you do that. Um, all right, let's throw some of those inserters up there. And I don't know, just more belts for now. I don't know what I'm missing yet. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna get some items. We need to sort those items. Where did YouTube chat go? Did it die again? Oh my gosh. I don't understand what's up with this. Um. I don't know why it died yesterday. It, there must be some sort of time timeout on a long stream. How long has it been dead? Do you guys know? Cause we had the same problem at about seven hours last time. All right, we're back. I don't know if it will fix YouTube chat or not. Um, no, I do understand if you don't like I keep hitting escape because I'm in the map view and I want to go back to me where I am, but I'm forgetting that I'm not on the space station. So that's a little problematic, actually. It'll be interesting to see if I ever get used to that. I'm sure I will eventually. But OK, so we need to filter. We need to filter off the various things. And there'll just be one more. And then I want to reprioritize the excess. We don't want we don't want this to, you know, stall out. So we basically need something like this. There's the music. There have been some bad apples from time to time, but yeah, you guys are a pretty good bunch. I, I can, I can relax pretty well when you guys are all around. All right. So I think something like this. We're just going, we're just going basic here. Input priority right. Output priority right, but on metallic. 
Then on, nah, maybe we'll do metallic last because then I have to do smelting for that. So we'll do carbonic and ice here. And then I also need to make sure they're all on the side that these would deposit them on. And I think I got lucky on that. It's going the wrong direction. So. We can just do that to clear it. Started his stream by telling everyone to avoid Factorio subreddit. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay, so you're ice. You are carbonic. We're processing asteroids. It's so cool. Oh, I screwed this up. Uh, you guys are only supposed to be putting back the chunks. You are doing ice chunks. You are doing metallic chunks. All right, try again. It is kind of nice that you can just remove it all and put it back in. Uh, input priority to the right. Yeah, that was correct. I think I just didn't do the output to the Why is... Oh, I guess output priority doesn't have an arrow if it has an icon. Okay. Can you send asteroids down to Novus? Now, there's the real question. There's the real question. Come on, give me more. I'm hungry. Daddy, Daddy's got to eat. Here it comes. Here comes Icy Boy. They have a stack size of one? Wow. So does it cost me anything to do these orbital drop slots or no? It certainly seems like that worked. Why dump it in space when it can be your teammate's problem? <laughs> Back down on the planet? <laughs> exactly. All right, so now we have iron ore, ice, and carbon. So ice and carbon can both go here. How did I, did I not cop? No, I guess I middle clicked, I didn't copy it. Uh, whitelist, carbon, you're gonna be ice. And then, unfortunately, it's on that side of the belt. I can't do it like that. I kind of have to do it like this. No, that doesn't work either. Um... That should work. Hooray! Okay. So that's that. We're gonna need to chuck the excess. Oh boy. So I need to deal with what happens if these back up. And then we're gonna need some furnaces. Oh my. Yeah, this is going to be crazy in multiplayer for those who are into the whole multiplayer Factorio thing. All right, I need some more platform. Needs more platform, more DACA. Um, I probably need more other things too, but I don't know what they are. All right, so you can bring this stuff back, but there's nothing to do with it. Right? So all you can do with the asteroid chunk is crush it in a crusher, and you can only build crushers on space platforms. So having them on the planet is entirely useless. 
because I can't you can't build crushers on a low on a high gravity situation so there's really no point but you can do it you can send stuff down all right I need an overflow for this is the problem so how do I do this um Like this. I'll put priority left. And then put that there and eat the rest off the side. Goodbye, carbon. We hardly knew ye. Now the carbon. See, the problem is I could send the carbon back to the surface as free fuel. Here. How much does carbon stack to? Carbon stacks to 50. That feels that feels kind of fun to send back, but anyway. That works. Um and what about the ice? Does that have any purpose? Uh you can turn it into water, but other than that, not really. So you can't crush on planets, but you can transfer the crushed stuff back. So this could be like a way to mine iron, basically. All right, let me actually finish what we're starting here. So you are going to be iron ore. And then we need to smelt. I don't even know. Um, iron ore. But we might have too much. these even fit? Just barely. Well, this is a uh, crudimentary at at best. And we'll make these use very little power. So how's power looking? We have 1.5 megawatts available, so we're okay on power. Barrels finally get a use for sending water down. I mean, you could just send the ice down, though. Because one ice is 20 water, and ice stacks to 50, so why would you use barrels? Unless... No, this crap... The ice melting can be done in a chemical plant. So that can be done at home. Um, as far as carbon, it's used in various recipes, but yeah. Oh, you can make coal out of it. There you go. So there is a use. It's fake coal. And I'm guessing with coal liquefaction, this is net positive? Maybe? Depends on productivity? No idea. Um, interesting. Is YouTube chat working yet? Probably not. It never is. No, it, it was for a long time. This happens to not now. Uh, seems like it still isn't. Sad. You can crush by hand, Darkua says. Oh, that's interesting. Can you really? Um, where did those items go? I want to find out now. No, you cannot. Okay, we checked. Cannot crush by hand. Is that a recipe, coal to sulfur? No, but but the recipe is coal liquefaction getting you oil products and then oil products to sulfur. Because sulfur is basically just petroleum gas uh, and water. So, all oil products can turn into sulfur. 
we're doing it. Space science packs. Look at that. Woohoo! Now the question. So stack size is 200. How do I already have 105? I guess they're pretty easy to make. They definitely aren't like forcing you to go crazy with making a perfect build here. You just gotta get something that's working. So we unlocked this. And I just have to send it home. How do you auto send it home? Do we have to build a cargo landing pad? Probably. Maybe. No idea. Mm, concrete. Concrete is over here. Build a cargo landing pad. Now you can only build one of these per surface. So, this is kind of a big decision. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> um, where do I want to put this? Because this will become, this will become the hub of all things. So I feel like putting it up here is actually pretty reasonable. They did remove, yes, from the space science recipe. I, I do think it's weird though, like, so did you used to have to send uranium up to the platform to then do space science with it? So if I request space science, what happens here? On the way, 165. Oh my god. It's coming. Space science. Wow. Guys. We freaking did it. We went to space. We did a thing. We have space science. Should probably filter. <laughs> you love the goofy trash can lid opening up. Yeah, Grover is having a heyday. Um, Grover is having a heyday here. All right, well, let's get space science into our sushi. Let's get it sushied up here. Uh, so I need to bring it... Let's actually go over and then down. I know this decision of where the platform is might seem weird, but I I think having room around it is going to be something we're thankful for later. So I'm, I'm sticking by that decision. For now. No, what did I do? No! Don't you dare. You're an iron ore belt. Not a space science belt. Get down from there. <laughs> uh, didn't even have five seconds before the, the A lore comes in with the sass. Um, you know what? For that, the space science is gonna go through your name. That's what you get for being sassy. Um, all right, so we need to load that in here. Okay, so we need to actually noticed and started typing before it went wrong. <laughs> Sarcastically helpful. You know, that's how things go sometimes. Um, why have we not received any science for a while, though? Shouldn't it be, like, somewhat regular? 
No, no, it's not. We're not getting any ice because we're all backed up on iron. Oh, oh, we never, we never shoveled iron off the edge. That does feel oh so wrong to do. But at the same time, gotta do what you gotta do sometime. But look at all this iron we're just ditching. Oh my gosh, that feels so weird. Alright, I need to take a screenshot, because this is certainly gonna be... Certainly gonna be our screenshot for this episode. What an exciting episode. We finally went to space. Gosh, and we still have a whole planet to go to? And then after that planet, we have another planet to go to? And then after that planet, we have another planet to go to? And then after that planet, we still have another planet to go to? Oh my goodness. Guys, we are truly living in a day and age. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, so I certainly need to hook up a belt here. And that one needs to do the same thing based on space science. And then... Should be okay. I hope. If it stops here in a moment. Yep. Now that's on the right side. So the next science pack I grab needs to be on the left side. Are we overloading the right side now? I might need to reduce the number a smidge. Or I could just make the belt a little longer. Though that doesn't do anything better for me. So, because now that we're doing four packs, maybe I go down to 65 on all the types. My original number was about half of what the belts could hold as a rough estimate. So we should be able to literally have twice as much, but this will be a little safer. You wish you could live in this day and age. Instead, you're just watching with jelly. True, you guys, I guess, aren't quite in the day and age, but you will be soon. A constant combinator for the magic number. The problem is the magic number changes depending on how, how many packs I have. So it would literally just be doing math for me. Oh, you mean, but then I use the signal as the number? Yes, I see what you're saying. Then I don't have to change it on everything. I could also just parameterize the blueprint. But hey, we have space science. So now that we have space science, let me get rid of this iron ore. We can do my favorite research in the game. And I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon. Logistic system. That's what we're gonna do first with space science. Uh, so to parameterize the 75, I think we can copy this into a blueprint and just change this to a parameter and call it the number. So, so basically everywhere where 65 is, I set it as a parameter, I save that, and now if I paste this, it's gonna ask me what the number is. And I can be like, oh, I want it to be 50 now. Or, oh, I want it to, oh, it just defaults to 65. But now it should be set to 50, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, who needs a constant combinator when you can just do that? Where are electric furnaces? Uh, we have a few, we have a few, not many, but a few. There's two in space. There's a few making random stone bricks around the base, and then this is really the, the most electric furnacing we've got going on right now. I probably need to do a better power solution before I go electric furnace everywhere. Oh. All 
Alright, I wonder how much space science we're kind of making on average here. You've seen some people get frustrated that logistics is behind space science. I mean, I was a little frustrated when I saw that, but space science really isn't that bad to get. Um, this is now this production. That's why we're not seeing space science. Okay, so average over the last 10 minutes is about 30 a minute. So we do need to pump up the production. That's not enough. But I can't remember how long ago we fixed the iron stopping issue, so... Um, as far as rates go, are these fast enough for one per second? Not quite. So yeah, we certainly need more... More platform. Um... At least for now, I'll leave these little slots open. I'll keep trying to grow, grow the platform just like the factory. A little bit more room for solar panels. There. Has Novice always been a planned novice? I mean, that's exactly how some people pronounce it, so yes, I think so. I don't know which planet I'm going to first. Fulgora is currently in the lead, though, because I'm excited for recyclers. And I don't have a, a huge need for artillery or cliff explosives, which are kind of some of the bigger benefits of going to Vulcanus. I mean, the foundry is freaking sweet, don't get me wrong. But we can make plates without it, too. So. Excited for recyclers or excited for quality? Yeah, exactly. Has YouTube chat figured itself out yet? No. Come on, YouTube chat. Jeez, you're saying you hope we get copper asteroids solely because you want to make an infinitely self-expanding platform? Yeah, that's an idea. Don't forget Big Drill and Green Belts from Vulcanus. Yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. Vulcanus does have a lot of bonuses. Um, I'm going to reset the YouTube chat again. We'll see if it can figure itself out. Um... For space science, turn excess iron into steel. Yeah, that's an option. It just takes space. Spidertron is in Gleba, I think. Well, now it's just not connecting to YouTube at all. I don't know what's going on with the chat. But guys, we're at 95% of logistics system. Yes. Yes, we are. Sending sending it down is free, though. Yeah, that's the weird part to me. It, you don't need, like, capsules or something to send items down, which feels almost like cheating. So what I can do is this. I literally don't have enough space for this. Um, nice thing is it's easy to kind of just pick it up and redo it. Um, but what I can do is output party left, and then we can throw extras in the platform. And then if we still have extra ore that we're not able to manage, that gets dumped off the side. That has to walk the plank. So we could get some free iron that way. But yeah, we certainly need more 
platforms. And now we can make requester chests. We did it. Oh, that feels so good. I hope you filtered your landing pad inserters. We did, don't worry. We thought ahead and they are filtered to only do white signs. So don't you worry about that. We thought ahead for once using our brains, our big brain. Um, and now we're going to do this and get more types of chest. Hmm. How do we do this though? Sulfuric is perfectly in the way. happy? Looks like it. Quest that, and we've got logistics. It will not send down plates unless requested also. Oh, good point. Good point. New players are going to be so lost with space logistics. Yeah, there's certainly a few things that I think will be issues for new players. But at the same time, new players aren't like I don't know. They have to deal with a lot of stuff to get this far. Granted, they didn't have to do this part of it, but you're not going to accidentally happen upon a space platform. So it does take a little bit of work. But... Hey, Sumerian Hydra, welcome. Welcome, Raiders. How's everybody doing? Were you playing some, some beautiful... Beautiful space exploration. Okay, now it's just not connecting to the YouTube account. What is going on? <laughs> Spreading the love since you don't have the stamina to do a 12 hour stream. Don't worry, I don't I don't either. Um <laughs> Alright, so we'll request iron plates. I mean, the problem is I don't know what to do with this iron. It's just random iron. Random iron plates. Okay. I don't think we need to do anything else with this, though. This will get us our space science. It's not very fast. Definitely want to improve it. But for now, I think what we want to do... Ooh, we've got some... Some rare prod modules. That's nice. Um... <laughs> But uh, I think what we want to do is get a requester chest for the eh, uh, space platform. Or wait, no, is this already? Hold on. just need a closer robo for it. Okay, there we go. So that will automatically bring whatever... Oh, that's crazy. You're surprised there's no cost to sending stuff back. Yeah, for sure. I do, th I do think there will be mods to add that sort of thing. But... Wow. So that's automatically going to send up whatever space platform foundation we need, along with other buildings. Gosh. 
two uncommon crushers, which basically just craft faster. I guess that's nothing crazy. What we really want are the uncommon asteroid collectors. Why is that not? Everything is less than 50. Everything is less than 50. Oh, I'm connected to the logistic. There we go. Um, that was that problem. Next on the list is grab these quality modules and uh, where are we? Over here. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm glad with how they did it as well to just be free to send items down to planets. I think that's good. Bot mall with quality, Jiggly. Yeah, we will be working on a bot mall at some point. The problem is I already have most things I need automated. So a bot mall is more like a later game thing when I end up with the desire to rebuild a lot of the base, which I don't really need yet. Um, okay, so why am I over here for? Oh yeah, so I wanna put rare productivity modules into the space uh, rocket silo. <laughs> is there something more effective than a rocket for carrying things? No, no, it is, it is the most effective. Um, okay, sweet, so that's a little bit more productivity for that. And I was going to do one other thing with those modules, and I can't remember what it was now. Um, also, I wonder how the ratios are <laughs> by default. Do you think it feeds you asteroids in the ratio that you need, assuming you're not productivity moduling anything? Or do you think it feeds you asteroids in a bad ratio and you end up with too much of some things? I certainly should have a bigger buffer. Right now I'm not buffering anything and that's gonna cause us to sometimes ditch items that we would need in a couple minutes, but... Maybe it depends on location. Oh, the star map. Hold on, let's look at the space map. Does this tell us the ratio? No, it doesn't. Um... It does not tell us the ratio of asteroids. It does tell us we get 300% solar power in space. And... The day-night cycle is seven minutes. But it doesn't tell us anything else. Okay, so what was I gonna... Oh, oh, that's what I was gonna do. I wanted to research module twos. We can do that now. So we can, we can get quality module twos. And then we can work on getting higher quality quality module too. So let's queue up all the module types. <laughs> yeah, city skylines to... Jiggly, you're saying in the trailer it showed you have to use circuits to filter stuff out in space. Maybe. I don't actually know if we're gonna need that though. We can just dump the extras like we are now. <laughs> oh, you well, the the trailer is also traveling. It's uh there's thrusters on the platform. So that makes a pretty big difference. <laughs> but yeah, Kerbal Space Program 2 and City Skylines 2 are both sad, but KSP2 is sadder because it's just completely dead. At least City Skylines 2 is a video game. It can be called one of the video games of all time, accurately so. And, I mean, I guess technically you can do that with Kerbal Space Program 2, but uh, <laughs> at least CS2 got updates. It was a bad launch, not a great game, but at least it got updates and technically being worked on. That's more just a case of it's just a bad game. But, uh, you know what we should do? Oh, I still have a request for those. Let's get rid of that. Um, so what we want to do here is we want to say... Logistic network. Only do if assembling machine 2 is less than 50. Uh, 
And then we want to do a requester chest. This is an area where bots will make things a little simpler. Because we're crafting... <laughs> We're, we're crafting brand spanking new uh, assembling machine twos over here, but we don't need to. Don't need to do all this. Um, instead, we can just request assembling machine twos. And call it a day. Don't need 90 of them, though. That's not a good number. How about 20? Also grabbed all of my speed one modules. Ugh. You know, inventory management's surprisingly difficult. As messy as my inventory looks, it's not like I just have hundreds and hundreds of like completely. It's not like I have a thousand rails or something. You know, it's like there are a few random bits and bobs, but most of it is actually. Got a purpose. Probably don't need gun turrets anymore. I need automate laser turrets. <laughs> okay, well, we probably need to call that an episode. We're an hour and 16, an hour and 16 minutes in. So for you future YouTubians, we will have to bid you adieu. Though, for those of you here live, stick around. We're gonna keep streaming. But for everyone else, see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. And leave a comment if you want. <laughs>